Dairy cattle normally grow horns, but horns pose a risk to workers and other animals in common farm settings. To prevent horn injuries, horn growth can be stopped using a procedure known as disbudding or dehorning. Disbudding is commonly done by applying a heated iron to the horn bud when the calf is zero to eight weeks of age. Alternatively, caustic paste can be used when the calf is less than a week old. At about eight weeks of age, the horn bud attaches to the skull and more invasive procedures, such as scoop dehorning, are needed to remove the horn. Calves should always be disbudded before eight weeks of age to avoid the need for more invasive procedures. Regardless of the method and age of the calf, this procedure is painful. Pain relief should always be used. Numbing the horn bud with local anesthetic is essential. It is also strongly recommended to administer a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, or NSAID for short, to treat pain in the hours after disbudding. Studies have found that this combination of local anesthetic and NSAID is most effective at reducing pain for both hot iron and caustic paste methods. To give a nerve block with local anesthetic, you will need prescriptions for 2% lidocaine hydrochloride and 8.4% sodium bicarbonate, 3 to 5 20 gauge 1 inch needles, a 12 milliliter syringe for drawing up the lidocaine, and a 3 milliliter syringe for drawing up the sodium bicarbonate. Draw 10 milliliters of lidocaine hydrochloride. You may need an additional two to four milliliters for calves older than five weeks. Draw one milliliter of sodium bicarbonate. Sodium bicarbonate is added to lidocaine in a one to 10 ratio to reduce the acidity of lidocaine and make the injection less painful for the calf. Add the sodium bicarbonate to the syringe with lidocaine. Shake the syringe to mix the lidocaine and sodium bicarbonate. There should be 11 milliliters in the syringe. Swap the needle for a fresh one. This will reduce pain during the injection. Restrain the calf in her home pen. Calves can be sedated to make handling easier. Alternatively, calves can be restrained with a halter or head restraint. Head restraints should not be used on sedated calves. To locate the injection site, feel for the bony ridge between the eye and the horn bed. The corneal nerve, which supplies sensation to the horn bed, is located under the ridge. Feel below this ridge for a slight depression just behind the corner of the eye. Aim the needle towards the horn bud at a 45 degree angle to the skin. Slide the needle fully into the depression and inject 5.5 milliliters of lidocaine using a slow fanning motion. Inject the remaining 5.5 milliliters on the other side. Wait 10 minutes for the lidocaine to take effect. After 10 minutes have passed, use an electric clipper to trim hair around the horn bud. Check for numbness by using a needle to lightly prick around the base of the horn bud. If the calf responds by moving her head or flicking her ear, administer another two milliliters of lidocaine on that side and wait for five minutes before testing again. In addition to local anesthetic, it is strongly recommended to administer a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug before disbudding. Oral meloxicam is currently the analgesic drug of choice for disbudding and can be prescribed for extra label use. Flunixin can also be given, but is approved for intravenous use only. Transdermal banamine is a pour on solution, but does not appear to provide substantial pain relief for disbudding. Check with your veterinarian about any special requirements like the organic standards. You can also ask them or call Farad for meat withdrawal times. Oral meloxicam can be given while waiting for the lidocaine to take effect. To give oral meloxicam, you will need a prescription for meloxicam from your veterinarian, a gelatin capsule, and a balling gun. Calculate the number of tablets you will need for a one milligram per kilogram dose. Add the tablets to the gelatin capsule. Extend the plunger and place the capsule in the balling gun. Straddle the calf and use your fingers to guide the balling gun down the center of the calf's throat. Push the plunger to release the capsule. Slowly remove the balling gun from the mouth and check to make sure the capsule is swallowed. After an anti-inflammatory drug is given and the horn bud is numb, 
The calf can be disputed using caustic paste or a hot iron. Caustic paste is easier to apply, but improper application or exposure to rain can cause incomplete disputting and significant damage to the face and eyes of the calf. The calf must also be housed individually to avoid transferring paste to other calves. In this video, we will cover how to disbud using a hot iron. Regardless of the procedure used and age of the calf, local anesthetic and NSAID should always be given. Allow the iron to heat for about 10 minutes. Make sure to keep it away from any flammable material. Check the temperature of the iron with a temperature gun. The iron should be at least 400 degrees Celsius or 750 degrees Fahrenheit to ensure the horn tissue is fully destroyed. Restrain the calf and apply the iron for 10 to 15 seconds until a uniform copper ring forms. Use minimal pressure when applying the iron. Rock the iron slightly around the horn bud to ensure a uniform burn. You may also choose to flick out the horn bud after disputting. However, the pros and cons of this method are still unclear. If you are interested in learning more about research on disputting pain, the Journal of Dairy Science has assembled a collection of papers on the subject and has made these freely available at this link.